1. 20 years from now you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. This quote is often attributed to Mark Twain, although there is some debate about its origins. In plain English, the quote means that in the future, you will regret the opportunities you missed and the things you didn't try more than the things you actually did but didn't turn out as expected. It's a reminder to take risks and seize opportunities, rather than playing it safe and potentially missing out on valuable experiences. Let's imagine a story about two friends, Sarah and John, who are both given the opportunity to go on a thrilling adventure. Sarah decides to play it safe and stay home because she's afraid of the unknown. She spends her time watching TV and sticking to her routine. She often wonders what it would have been, like if she had taken the chance to go on the adventure. On the other hand, John decides to seize the opportunity, and goes on the adventure. He experiences new places, meets interesting people, and learns valuable lessons along the way. Even though some parts of the adventure are challenging and don't go as planned, John doesn't regret his decision, because he knows he took a chance and lived life to the fullest. Years later, when they both look back on their lives, Sarah feels disappointed that she didn't take the chance to go on the adventure. She realizes that she missed out on exciting experiences, and opportunities for growth. Meanwhile, John is grateful for the memories and experiences, he gained from taking risks and trying new things. So, the moral of the story is that it's better to take risks and try new things. Even if they don't always work out. Because you'll regret the opportunities you didn't take more than the ones you did. 2. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. This quote is attributed to Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple Inc. In simple terms, Jobs is saying that to accomplish something great in your work, you need to have a genuine passion for what you do. If you haven't found that passion, yet, he advises not to settle for something that doesn't fulfill you. Keep searching until you find what you truly love, because when you do, it will feel right in your heart and you'll know you've found it. Let's imagine a story about a young girl named Lily who loves to draw. Lily tries different hobbies and activities. But she always comes back to drawing because it makes her feel happy and fulfilled. She spends hours doodling in her sketchbook, creating colorful characters and imaginary worlds. As Lily grows older, people around her start suggesting practical career paths. Like becoming a doctor or an accountant. They tell her that art is just a hobby, and she should focus on something more stable and lucrative. Despite the pressure from others, Lily decides to follow her passion for drawing. She enrolls in art classes, practices tirelessly, and eventually lands a job as an illustrator for a children's book company. Lily's work brings her joy and fulfillment every day, because she's doing what she loves. Even when she faces challenges or setbacks, her passion for drawing keeps her going. She realizes that by pursuing her passion, she's able to create great work that brings joy to others as well. So, the moral of the story is that, by following your passion and doing what you love, you can achieve great things in your work and find true fulfillment in life. 3. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. This quote is attributed to Helen Keller, a renowned American author, activist, and lecturer. In simple terms, the quote means that life is either filled with exciting and bold experiences, or it's not worth living at all. It emphasizes the importance of taking risks, seeking adventure, and embracing new challenges rather than settling for a safe and predictable existence. Let's imagine a story about two friends named Sam and Maya. Sam is a thrill seeker who loves trying new things and seeking adventure. He's always up for a challenge and enjoys pushing his limits. Whether it's skydiving, mountain climbing, or exploring new places, Sam is always eager to embark on daring adventures. Maya, on the other hand, is more cautious and prefers to stick to her comfort zone. She enjoys routine and predictability, and she's hesitant to step outside of what feels safe and familiar. Maya prefers to spend her free time relaxing at home, or engaging in low-risk activities like reading or gardening. One day, Sam invites Maya to join him on a spontaneous road trip to a nearby national park. He suggests hiking to the top of a challenging mountain trail and camping under the stars. Maya hesitates at first, feeling nervous 
about the idea of embarking on such a daring adventure. After some encouragement from Sam and a little bit of hesitation, Maya decides to go for it. As they hike up the steep mountain trail, Maya's heart races with excitement and anticipation. She feels alive and invigorated by the breathtaking scenery, and the sense of accomplishment that comes with pushing herself out of her comfort zone. When they finally reach the summit and set up camp, Maya realizes that she's capable of far more than she ever imagined. She feels a sense of pride and fulfillment that she's never experienced before. Maya's daring adventure with Sam opens her eyes to the beauty of taking risks and embracing new experiences. In the end, Maya learns that life is indeed a daring adventure. And by stepping outside of her comfort zone, she's able to truly experience all that life has to offer. So, the moral of the story is that life is meant to be lived to the fullest. And sometimes that means embracing, daring adventures and stepping outside of your comfort zone. 4. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. This quote is attributed to C.S. Lewis, a renowned British author. In simple terms, the quote means that while you can't change the past, you have the power to make positive changes in your life starting from where you are now. It encourages people to focus on the present moment and take action to create a better future. Rather than dwelling on past mistakes or missed opportunities, it's about embracing the opportunity for growth and transformation, regardless of past circumstances. Let's imagine a story about a character named Alex, who is unhappy with their current job. Alex has been working at the same company for years, but they feel unfulfilled and unsatisfied with their career. They often find themselves dwelling on past decisions, wishing they had pursued a different path or made different choices earlier in life. One day, Alex comes across the quote, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. This quote resonates with Alex and inspires them to take action to improve their situation. Instead of continuing to dwell on past regrets, Alex decides to focus on the present moment and take steps to change their future. They start by reflecting on their strengths, interests, and passions, and researching new career opportunities that align with their values and goals. With determination and perseverance, Alex begins networking, updating their resume, and applying for new job opportunities. They attend interviews, take courses to develop new skills, and explore different industries and career paths. Despite facing setbacks and challenges along the way, Alex remains committed to their goal of finding a career that brings them joy and fulfillment. Eventually, their efforts pay off, and they land a job in a field that they're truly passionate about. As Alex reflects on their journey, they realize that while they can't change the past, they were able to create a brighter future for themselves by taking action and making positive changes in their life starting from where they were. The quote serves as a reminder that it's never too late to pursue happiness and fulfillment, no matter where you are in life. 5. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. This quote is attributed to Martin Luther King Jr., a prominent American civil rights leader. In simple terms, the quote means that when we stop speaking up about important issues or standing against injustice, our lives lose their significance. Remaining silent on matters that truly matter is like giving up on making a positive impact and letting the meaningful aspects of life fade away. It encourages people to be vocal and active in addressing issues that are important for the betterment of society and humanity. Let's imagine a story about a community facing a problem with pollution in their local river. In the town of Green Valley, the river that runs through the heart of the community has become polluted with trash and toxic waste. The residents are aware of the issue, but no one is speaking up or taking action to address it. One day, a young girl named Sarah decides to speak out about the pollution problem. She writes a letter to the local newspaper, expressing her concerns and urging her fellow citizens to take action to clean up the river. At first, Sarah's words fall on deaf ears. Many people in the community are hesitant to get involved or speak out against the pollution for fear of causing conflict or drawing negative attention to themselves. However, Sarah's courage inspires others to speak up as well. Soon, more and more people in Green Valley are voicing their concerns and calling for action to clean up the river. With the support of the community behind them, 
Local leaders and environmental organizations begin working together to address the pollution problem. They organize cleanup efforts, implement stricter regulations on waste disposal, and educate residents about the importance of protecting the river. Over time, the river starts to become cleaner and healthier, and the community's efforts to address the pollution problem are celebrated as a success. Through Sarah's bravery and the collective voice of the community, Green Valley was able to make a positive impact and protect something that mattered deeply to them. The story illustrates how remaining silent about important issues can lead to stagnation and decline, while speaking up and taking action can lead to positive change and a brighter future. 6. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. This quote is often attributed to Mahatma Gandhi, although its exact origin is uncertain. In simple terms, the quote means that you should live each day as if it were your last, fully embracing and enjoying life. At the same time, you should also continuously seek knowledge and learning as if you were going to live forever. It encourages living life to the fullest while also valuing personal growth and education. Let's imagine a story about two friends named Emma and Ben. Emma loves to travel and explore new places. She believes in living life to the fullest and making the most of every moment. Whenever she gets the chance, Emma takes spontaneous trips, tries new foods, and immerses herself in different cultures. She approaches each day with excitement and enthusiasm, cherishing every experience. As if it were her last, Ben, on the other hand, is a bit more reserved. He enjoys the comfort of routine and rarely steps out of his comfort zone. Ben spends most of his time at home, watching TV or playing video games. He doesn't see the point in taking risks or trying new things. Because he's afraid of the unknown. One day, Emma and Ben decide to take a pottery class together. Emma dives into the activity with gusto, eager to learn new skills and create something beautiful. She throws herself into each lesson, embracing the opportunity to learn and grow. Ben, however, approaches the class with a sense of indifference. He goes through the motions without putting much effort into his work. He's more focused on getting through the class than on truly learning and improving his skills. As the weeks go by, Emma's passion for pottery grows stronger. She spends hours practicing and experimenting, delighting in the creative process. Ben, on the other hand, quickly loses interest and drops out of the class. Ultimately, Emma gains new talents and a sense of accomplishment. In her pottery class, she realizes that by embracing each opportunity to learn and grow, she can enrich her life and cherish every moment. Meanwhile, Ben regrets not fully engaging in the class and misses out on the chance to discover a new passion. He realizes that by living in fear and resisting new experiences, he's limiting his own potential for growth and fulfillment. So, the moral of the story is that by living each day, as if it were your last and embracing opportunities for learning and growth, you can lead a more fulfilling and enriching life. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends.